Jan Michael Gamble personifies veteran leadership in World Team Tennis. The international star is entering his eighth year of WTT competition. It'll be my fifth season with the Lobsters, and um, it's just been great. It's been it's been a, it's been a great team atmosphere that they've put together. Every single year, it gets better. Bahar continues to support the team more and more and, and, he, and he likes to keep the family together. Every year we, we look forward to seeing the, the same players and the same staff and that's a really fun thing to look forward to um, at the beginning of the year and, and, uh, and, and obviously in, in um, July. And Eric Buderak is a great guy. Bud is just a fantastic coach. It's, it's just been a great, great atmosphere to, to play in. Jan Mike has been ranked as high as number 14 in the world with singles victories over Roger Federer, Pete Sampras and Andre Agassi. He also has three ATP Tour singles titles on his resume, all experiences which will help him guide Boston on the courts. Well, I think that I would still be on tour. I mean, it, it, my years would probably be winding down a bit, but if I hadn't been injured, I'd still be playing the ATP Tour. Um, I didn't stop playing by choice. It was, it was me falling out of the top 100, top 50 um, when my shins got injured. I, I hurt them pretty bad. I was actually still 30-something in the world and it just kind of slid. I couldn't practice like I wanted to. I couldn't do the sprinting. It hurt to even get out of a chair. So it was bad. And, and, and in, that, in that, I then started serving harder and hurt my arm really bad. So two years off the tour with no play whatsoever was, was very, let's just say, very detrimental to my game. So um, now that I feel pretty much 100%, shin still hurt a bit, but um, in events like this or events like for team tennis for three weeks, I can keep it together long enough to do that. So for me to play, Months and months of tournaments just isn't in the cards, it doesn't seem like. Gamble has helped the Lobsters earn two consecutive playoff berths, and he hopes this season will be another banner year in Beantown. We've made the postseason three out of the four years that I've played for Boston, which is a, is a nice accomplishment. Haven't made the finals yet, so we've made the semis three times, and that's, that's fun. I, you know, there's always something more to push for. I feel like I could have played a little better singles last year, but we still did it as a team, and that's, that's what it's about. So that's fantastic. That's what Billy's idea was when she started Team Tennis, and, and we have that in Boston. We, we have her ideal in Boston, which is, which is fantastic. And you know what's neat? This, this last year, we are seeing a lot of return fans, people coming back and seeing a lot of the matches, getting to know some of the fans has been really fun. And there's no question this World Team Tennis hero will be an inspiration both on and off the courts. I think for the Lobsters to win a championship, we need. I'd like to see us start out a little bit um, more off the gun, um, have a really good start of the season and carry through. Um, when you get into the final though, you know, three to four times, you, you have the opportunity. We, we were in the match. This last one, we lost to Washington DC who were undefeated. That's a tough situation. Um, that was. That was still a close match. We won both the singles matches. We, we need to play a little bit better doubles. I think our doubles, get the doubles up a little bit and, and we'll have a shot.